So this is a first example of artist research work on Paul Cezanne and the Still Life Project. So what's good about this piece of work? He's got a certain style he's developed. Backgrounds have been done in acrylic, which has been diluted. Greens and blues, for example, on this page, and a very distinctive titles on each page, plus these flap outs of large pictures of Cezanne to complement the smaller pictures on the sketchbook pages. So we have, first of all, information on Cezanne's life and his style. Secondly, we have information on Cezanne's different types of work. So here we have his landscape work, portrait work, still life work. A little bit of information here on the style and colours used in the still life. Next we have a copy of Cezanne's work and he's even done another copy which is done in year 11. And next and finally we have an analysis of this piece of work which you can see in large format here and this is his written analysis of Cezanne's painting of a basket of apples. And then after that, obviously, he moves on to development, but he's retaining the same style even for the development work. So if we look at this example, again, very light watercolour, could be acrylic in the background, a bit more colourful. Starts off with Suzanne's life and his style and his work with these sort of additional flap outs of pictures. This page in a way looks a bit better because it's broken up with pictures rather than all text like that. He's even done an additional copy of a Cezanne painting which he's put on his first page and then this is done in acrylic but he's photocopied it and he's cut out part of the photocopy where he's writing about Cezanne's style and what he's learnt about his style on the page underneath the photocopy. Next we've got Cezanne's work, so information about portrait and landscape work and still life work. Again, a little bit like he did there. Could be a few more pictures here splitting up this page. Maybe even some bigger pictures too. Next we go on to his analysis work. His students also done Cezanne's painting a basket of fruit. Written a bit more around the outside and again written up his essay and then afterwards we've got his copy of a Cezanne piece. So this was a copy he would have done in year 10 and then he did another copy in year 11 and after that we'll see him moving on to his development etc. Similar format for the pages and titles etc. So there's a very good example, certainly bordering on the level nines. Here we have a slightly different approach, so quite a plain background, much thicker paint, red acrylic, but a different approach in combining typed information where he's highlighting the key points and then his own annotations and his own commentary in handwriting. Not so much emphasis placed on the title, but quite a bit of information on the individual page. So again, information on Cezanne's life and his work, talking about his still life work and his landscape work. This is his copy, again with a flap out. Next, we get on to the analysis. Again, another flap out of information. And this is his first piece of work in the style of Cezanne, based on his own still life. So on this one, is not quite as much on Cezanne's portraits, 
on his still life, on his landscapes, as perhaps the other examples, but still good enough to get a level 8. So here we have another example. We have backgrounds which have been done in lots of thin brush strokes, streaks of different colours and tones of blue and green and red for example. So first page on Cezanne, Paul Cezanne the head in there, not very clear, there's a lot of information on the page. Here we got information on Cezanne's landscape work and his portrait work. Next is still life, talking about Cezanne's style of painting. Here's his copy. See the very distinctive diagonal brush strokes he's tried to recreate. Next we're expecting to see his analysis. Here it is, the analysis of his work. A few arrows around talking about the different techniques before writing it into a paragraph. Paragraph looks a little bit short to me for the information and then after that we go on to his development work. So that's his artist research work. Good example of a level 8. Quite a bit of information there but actually not perhaps as quite as much as a level 9. The three double pages plus a couple of flap outs so probably the equivalent of about four double pages. So here we've got an example of somebody who works in a slightly different way, so much less emphasis placed on background colour. These look like watercolour or very diluted acrylic added with a bit of sponge, just accent colours. Uh, he rips out information and sticks it down. Less time spent on the titles, etc. So this is information on Cezanne's life. A little bit on his style and his work. Examples of his landscape work, examples of portrait work. You can see compared to some of the other examples, there's only two examples of landscapes and one example of a portrait. And we get on to the still life work and the style and techniques Suzanne uses and the compositions he uses. A bit more work on his still life. This is where he's trying to copy a Cezanne painting. This is one of Cezanne's watercolours. And this is his analysis. So again, we have lots of information written around the painting, but he's also reprinted out certain sections to create this effect of really focusing down on certain characteristics which are shown in these sections of the painting. And this is, of course, his written analysis of this painting. Then we move on to his development pages. So that would be a good solid level 8. And last week we have slightly different example, a very loose, some people might think it's quite a scruffy example, but there's a huge amount of information in here. So starts off with his title page on Paul Cezanne information on Paul Cezanne, so lots of extra bits of information. Not so graphically set out as some of the other examples, but for all the pictures he's including, he's even talking about them and adding some annotations. So what he's not spending on very graphic titles, he's spending on the actual content, samples of Cezanne's work, information from books and websites, if you read the commentary, the commentary is high quality. More information on Cezanne's still life work. There's his copy. Next we're going on to more information on another copy of another piece of still life. Okay, this one hasn't got fruit in it, but he's showing or trying to recreate the diagonal brush strokes which Cezanne uses and is talking about how Cezanne uses his techniques of brush strokes and 